Peggy 12. Ubisoft has a really good pedigree of creating really awesome driving games. You know, uh, Driver San Francisco came out a couple years back now, but it was really fun. It had really incredible mechanics. And for me personally, I've been a little bit disappointed by the driving in some of its sort of more recent games, Watch Dogs, for example. And I'm really quite looking forward to getting out into this large, expansive America and just being given the opportunity to drive wherever I want across all of these different landscapes um, in some really pretty looking cars. Definitely. I think open world racing games certainly had a good crack at things in the last generation. Things like Test Drive Unlimited or uh, Burnout Paradise really yeah. tried to develop on those ideas. Fuel is another good example and probably the best one for the, for the crew here. Just super open world, go anywhere you like, drive anywhere you like, on any, in any vehicle you like. Um, but this time with the power of next gen, with uh, improved servers and everything that Xbox One brings, we're really looking forward to a much smoother drop-in, drop-out multiplayer experience, as well as some really crisp driving. Yeah, I think sort of seamless multiplayer is quickly becoming this, you know, sort of generation's buzzwords, um, along with particle effects. And the crew obviously has both of those in abundance. You know, it looks beautiful. Um, and the multiplayer is really going to be the sort of selling point here. Obviously, you can customize and build these cars any which way you like. Um, but really, what you're going to want to do is very much channeling that test drive feel. Is you, you're going to want to get in some cars with your buddies and just cruise. You know, they've got a mode here where you can basically spend a couple of hours just driving from one end of the world to the other, which will take you from everything, you know, from sort of dense cities to, say, more of the, like, bayou locations and some more sort of off-road and desert places as well. So really looking forward to it. It seems so diverse and, you know, so varied, which we just don't get from, from these sorts of games anymore. And it's not that long wait now. It's uh, 11th of November, they confirmed. So Xbox One, looking cool.